Hello there ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another video. This one is kind of like um, after installing Omni Android 11, like kind of the things you would want to take a look at, or kind of the things that uh, you should know. So this is, uh, all this is going to be in the description of the video, and I'm just going to be following through with these. So currently I have set up um, Omniram with like all my apps and stuff and as you can see the smart launcher works perfectly my favorite launcher <laughs> the uh, RGB app works perfectly as well so that's good so you can use it like for notifications and stuff uh, the magisk modules that work so ACC works that's um, the advanced charging so I'll actually just show you all my magisk modules here because why not yeah so that's all of them there so ACC works fine it like stops charging and stuff like that and then uh, the rest we'll talk about in a bit oh yeah so the boot animations uh, they work as well so if you're using the cyberpunk boot animation uh, that works as well uh, full screen immersive gestures that uh, works as well this is if you want to use like gestures but um, you don't like the uh, navigation pill whatever uh, more on that later so yeah uh, the camera uh, the pre-installed one I'll actually show you how that looks like so this is the pre-installed one here and uh, as you can see it's like quite laggy so it's kind of annoying to use and I don't really like the UI of it as well but the Google camera port works as well so if I search for that as well there it is so yeah it works fine and it's a lot it's a lot smoother and then the ultra wide uh, lens works as well so that's pretty cool um, so yeah I recommend you use the Gcam for that so if you want to change the animation speeds like for when your windows are closing because uh, by default uh, Omni RAM goes like to 0 0.5 which is the lowest but uh, I like it even faster so I just change it to 0 0.2 you could just copy these into a CMD shell so open up CMD type in ADB devices says to see if your phone is recognized and if it shows something like this it is and then you just copy and paste these into come on goddamn windows <laughs> alright so copy and paste that into here press enter you won't see any output but it does change it so that's how you do that alright so anyway for the navigation bar so if you go into actually uh, like Omni gears and um, bars, you can hide it here. But um, if you do that, the back gestures stop working. So uh, this will be fixed in the next update or so. And um, so yeah, to solve this temporarily, install the full screen gestures. So this is how this looks like. So you can actually customize the pill as well if you are a drug addict, if you like the fucking pills down there. But um, yeah, immersive is also pretty good, I'd say. I might try that out later on. Um, yeah, so when, you, when you're flashing this in Magisk, or in, uh, yeah, in Magisk, uh, you'll need to use uh, your volume keys to select 
So you'll have a choice between uh, full screen or immersive, so you'll need to select whichever one you want. So I think if you press the up arrow or the volume up key, that'll give you full screen or whatever, and then just reboot after that. And then lastly, like, I'm sure you all know about this feature. <laughs> I think it's like the coolest feature of um, Android 11 or whatever. So you can like highlight text and copy it. So that way some like stupid apps, they don't let you copy text. Well, this solves this problem. And uh, you can also copy text from pictures. So I'll actually just show you that real quick. Uh, if I go into here and see, this is a screenshot, right? But what I can do is select and as you can see, I can select these individual things. So you can actually select from screenshot, which is, which is insane. <laughs> that is really cool. So if I just copy, say, all right, this may take a minute or so. <laughs> copy that. And then uh, just go out into here, then I can paste it. And there you go. So it's, as you can see, copied the text perfectly from the screenshot even. So that's an insane feature. Now this one does take uh, some setup. <laughs> so first of all, what you want to do is you want to download this uh, Pixel Launcher Magisk module. So copy that and uh, There we go. So that's the page here. What you want to do is just scroll down, scroll down, and then uh, select any one which is like a low uh, file size, if you know what I mean. So like this one is 13 and a half megabytes. This one's 13 meg and a half megabytes. So this one is like a 3.1.2. This one's 3.1.1, so it's a little bit older. But as you can see, these one to 126 megabytes uh, don't download these, you will need them. So after you um, install that zip and uh, flash it inside uh, Magisk, so to install it, uh, go into, so I'll just go from scratch, settings, Magisk, and um, yeah, so click the last uh, thing here where all your modules are, install from storage, and then just find it wherever you downloaded it. All right, so then just reboot. And then what you'll find is the select tool won't actually work. So like, just go back here into my Telegram chat. And uh, if I were to press select before installing this, um, it just won't do anything. It won't let you highlight the stuff. So for this, you need to download uh, device personalization services. Now you can try searching for this on the Play Store, but for some reason for me, it doesn't like show up. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> so you're gonna have to go to APK Mirror. So that's just here, APK Mirror. Uh, this will fucking think you're a bot. So let me just, all right, great. So once you proved that you aren't a bot, um, what you want to do is look for the Pixel 5. So this one here. So make sure it's uh, R, because R is uh, for Android 11. Q is Android 10. And then just uh, look for whatever matches. This is the one I downloaded. And so you just like click through here and click through here and then finally download the APK and then you just install it like a normal APK. That's that and then you'll have the cool uh, text select features. So yeah, there we go. And as you can see, you can still use your favorite launcher with 
this. Uh, so this just replaces the recents, which is fantastic. If you want, you can also use the Google Pixel Launcher. So like if you go into settings, uh, type in uh, Launcher, I think. Yeah, default home app. So as you can see, you have, you'll by default, it'll be Quick Step, I think. That's what comes with Omni. And then you could just change it to whatever you want. Uh, I just like Smart Launcher, so that's why. Well, you can still use like whatever you want. So that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, that's it for now. I say that's kind of like the first things that you should do. Well, the first extra customizations that you should do for Omni. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching and bye bye.